Hello, and welcome to the 2009 update Galaxy Code Base. I'm Gareth Price, Service Manager of Galaxy Australia, a proud member of the usegalaxy.star ecosystem of global Galaxy servers. The 2009 update has just been released. It contains 174 enhancements to the code base and 176 fixes. Uh, we thank all those people that have utilized the Galaxy GitHub for pulling, putting in pull requests and issue requests. And we also thank the over 200 plus contributors to fixing and maintaining that code base uh, that allows these tri-yearly updates to come out so smoothly. Uh, if you're interested in diving into either a user level highlights or a develop uh, slash admin summary of the update, the two web links shown here on the screen will take you to those notes. Today, I've just picked out a few of the highlights of the update that I wanted to step through. The first one I want to start with is where many of us start our Galaxy journey, importing data. Galaxy has allowed data import from your local computer, from a public URL or an FTP site for many years now. The new and exciting features coming in 2009 uh, allow import via Dropbox and also any web dev enabled cloud storage service. So through a simple change to your user configuration and your user preferences to specify your cloud storage location, a small amount of work on your Galaxy admin to enable this feature, you'll soon be able to import data directly from the cloud services as shown on the bottom left hand screen here in the tool data upload pop-up box. Uh, when enabled, you'll simply navigate through your cloud storage mechanism the same way you would through your local compute. A uh, great new feature and will really allow people to bring in a larger and more complex data sets, which is the pattern we are seeing Galaxy usage. We have new features for training. So the Galaxy project maintains a fantastic training resource, Galaxy Training Network, with just shy of 200 tutorials on how to get the most out of your Galaxy or how to do some part of life science research. Now enabled, currently shown here on my screen on Galaxy Europe, but soon to be enabled across other Galaxy servers is this academic hat icon that pops up the Galaxy Training Network in a fully interactive window within your Galaxy session. Importantly, there are two elements to this interactive window as being shown here. One, you can copy data out of it, such as web links for file imports to allow you to seamlessly move between your Galaxy instance and the training network. And the other really exciting feature is the click to run feature. So if there is a tool described in the Galaxy Training Network, uh, simply clicking on that tool will bring up the tool form inside your Galaxy instance. Uh, a great way to, in, to seamlessly bring in GTN content inside the Training Network. Speaking of bringing data in and integrating services, uh, one of the more exciting features is the in-tool data upload. So now if you, forget or just need that little bit of extra data uh, inside a tool menu, you can now bring in and invoke a in-tool data upload the same way you would bring in data at the start of an analysis and building your history. Uh, this will be a great way to again increase that seamless journey from data import to analysis to reiteration of your data and we're really excited about that feature also. We're also excited, we're excited about everything, the improved workflow layout. Shown below is the current layout in 2005 and previous versions of Galaxy. It's a linear layout from raw data traditionally on the left-hand side through to analyzed data on the right-hand side. It's highly functional, but it's not always uh, human intuitive. As you can see, the connections between tool items are run under boxes, cross boxes, and it can be a little difficult to track. 2009 version, which has just come out, the workflow uh, layout is now enhanced. It's uh, broken up into subsections to give a more logical flow to how your analysis is done, and moreover, give you a visual human interpretation of the journey you've taken through setting up your analyses. 
other improvements uh, summarized here. There are now uh, workflow reports per workflow submission. So uh, six wor workflow submissions, six reports, a lot easier to dive into the workflows you've done. Uh, workflow import has been enabled from the GA4GH servers, Doc Store and Workflow Hub. Can now be directly imported into your Galaxy instance. Workflows again, uh, such a huge part of the Galaxy and what really makes it uh, such a wonderful, reproducible and accessible platform. So simplified workflow submission forms with a focus on the tool parameters that you want to focus on and choice of data sets. Can't wait for that. And also can't wait for the accelerated batch job creation and workflow scheduling. So this is an underhood one, but you as a user will be quite excited about. So batch job and workflow submission has been sped up over a hundred fold. You'll see this as faster queuing times and faster scheduling times for your workflows. Finally, a feature that has traditionally sat with the Galaxy admin, the uh, deletion of an account from a server has now been put back onto you, uh, sorry, simultaneously put onto you as the user. You have the ability to self delete your account. Uh, use when needed and use with caution, uh, obviously. Next, I'd like to talk about one of the plugins that's come from our continuing growing base of global Galaxy servers, the Galaxy P server, and their multi omics visualization platform plugin. Uh, shown here on the left and right hand side of the screens for configuration content and visualization content. The multi omics visualization plugin is going to really help enable those researchers tackling uh, bringing in and comparing disparate data sets for transcriptomics, genomics, proteomics, and metabolomics. And again, like so many of the developments in 2009, I'm super excited about this. And the primary publication for this can be found uh, recently in Giga Science at the DOI listed below. And I just want to finish on uh, the increase in the data types that have been supported through the platform. Uh, there are a number of these, I'm not going to go through all of them. They include sound and video support, uh, better support for compression and decompression, and some fixes to air, uh, tools along the way. So in all, those are some of the exciting features coming in Galaxy 2009. Uh, till next time, please do stay up to date with Galaxy's progress. You can watch our screencasts on Vimeo, join the community at Galaxy Project, follow us on Twitter, or reach out on Gitter and IRC for uh, questions about the service or just a social chat. Thank you very much.